All right, so do we want to go start with um, the facilitation team itself, or um, would we like to work out um, an order <coughs> that we think uh, the agenda should be uh, for um, for locking down the facilitation? Okay, real quick, who in here wants to facilitate? Raise your hand. Can the question be phrased to is willing to facilitate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it learning to facilitate? Uh, I think. Uh, you specifically for the A. Like, so, okay, um, can we just have everybody who has facilitation training? So, one, two. Wait, for the eighth. For the eighth. Oh. Okay, so one, two. Let me just, alright. That's so where that one. Bentley. Claire, Isaac, Chris. Oh, I asked, actually, I hope no one minds. I asked Liz Canfield to come by tonight. Because she does facilitation training. Absolutely. She's great at it. Mm hmm He's Graham and he's gonna need a seat. Uh, I think you guys can put another person on that couch. Yeah. Well, hello. I got you. All right, I think I have, um, a, a, so I have, okay, tell me if I didn't call your name. <clears throat> Sir, Bentley, Claire, Isaac, Chris, That's Jeremy, Josh. Josh, and Graham. That's the name. Did Graham Greg raise his great hat? Yeah, you. Why well, he? I've, I already talked. About that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, all right. <laughs> like... So, um, I am going to ask that you people um, get together at some point and hash out um, exactly who's going to do what for that meeting and have backups in case for some crazy reason the GA is like when you're like, hey, we are the facilitators for this event, and you know, is that okay with everybody if somebody says no? Yes. Can we amongst ourselves real quick figure out who is willing to facilitate that GA? Because I believe a lot of the hands I saw up are going to have proposals for that GA. Mm -hmm. I want to moderate them. Alright, so Graham's willing to moderate. Um, I'm not going to, I said I want to. <laughs> I said will. Yeah. Okay. So Graham's willing to moderate. Mm -hmm. and does anyone mind going through this process right now? Nope. Sorry, I didn't mean to well, I was going to say one thing. Even if you have proposals, you don't have to be the person to make the proposal. So, it's very true. Uh, even if you become a facilitator, then you can convey <coughs> whatever message you want through someone who supports you. Or I we think. can have a backup. I mean, and sure. also, I mean, like, for instance, like for me, like, I'm willing to facilitate this meeting. I do have proposals, but those proposals will be online before I get there, and someone else can take over that sure. idea. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, Graham is saying he's willing to moderate Isaac. I like that, um, Graham, because I've seen you moderate really well before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that's, I don't want to facilitate at all. That's cool. All right. um, um, Isaac, are you willing Chris, to facilitate? What are you I'm, I'm willing to take step. stack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isaac? We're probably going to need two stack takers yeah. for that night. I'll take another stack. Maybe we'll take stack? Yeah. All right. I'm willing to describe. No, 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I can do temp too. So I, mean, I don't really have, care. I'll do temp. I'll do stack. Yeah, this one will have three males huh? and one female. Oh. Um, it would be two females. I have Claire and Bentley. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh, Claire, like, you're willing as well? Here's the thing. You have proposals that night, right? I don't. Okay. I, I technically can have a proposal that night, but I could, it could wait. Um, Is it the fewer GAs proposal? You want to be on ten? No, that's not mine. I don't have I don't have one written up for that. I assume that other there's a lot of that talk going on, so I'm assuming someone else is coming up with one. All right, I, I have do one. have one. Okay, then for, there you go. That's fine. You can talk about yeah. it. I'm willing. Someone else. I'm willing to. Um, what was your issue? Sir, do you have a preference? What do you hate? I hate not moderating if I'm up there. Um. So. I'm a little bit uncomfortable, and here's why, just to let you guys know, it's a really uncomfortable position to be, like, in the middle for me, where I can't either be particip participating in the crowd, yeah. and then also not speaking and just not moderating. It's a really uncomfortable position. I don't do well in it at all. So when I say I'm willing, like, I'm always willing to help if you need me to, but I prefer to be in audience participation. I'll just put it down as willing. Willing, absolutely willing. Okay. I mean, I'll go in if I need to. Like, well, that could be like, you know, if y'all want to switch out or yeah, something. Yeah, that's fine, too. I mean, Anna Graham's a great moderator, so I think it should be him. I just, like, you also might need more women up there, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just well, depends on what the team looks like, you know? Like, if it's just a bunch of white dudes, then. Okay, well, in that case, we'll we have Chris and Sir. 
It's Bentley. Oh, Bentley. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Can we put it in some first year? Yeah, yeah sure. That's sure. Um, Isn't that temp? That's temp, though. Yeah. Do, that? do we want to combine first they year? Temp time? first year? That's, 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 it's traditionally been. Um, first year is a function of temp. I didn't know that. It's not how we were running it. Um, no. you know, at least yeah. when I was, at least when I was moderating, that's not how it was run. It yeah. makes sense to me. I think that's how it should be. That's how I've done it as temp. No, it makes total sense. Totally I think that's how it should be. Can I ask a question about first year? I'll go right ahead and then I'll. Um, I was just saying that when I. Um, ran that uh, once. I just used the stack papers as first year. And I well, that the was. stack is really hard to be first year because you yeah, have to you look at yeah, every single person. Temp, yeah, temp, temp should be first year because they also have a really important job to make sure that they, you know. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Do you, do you finished? Yeah. Okay. I. Tiff did it in DC, and that's how I watched them do first year in DC. I will say that night that we've we experienced the, the two times that I've seen this experiment with first year was highly confusing to someone that's ADHD like me because people were running all around and it was freaking me out really bad because I was like watching them instead of watching what was happening in front of me. Because um, I and if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of attention problems within Orva, so already, so people were having, were like looking all around them, watching what was going on, so he's always, we're always kind of on alert, so I'm wondering if we can't make first year just one person walking around, and it's sort of difficult, because you kind of need well, that makes two sense sides. that it's a temp check, right, because the temp check is the only person who should be walking around in. Anyway. Also, this is going to be, it's going to be at, to um, I think this is going to be at the uh, Friends Meeting House, which has three specific sections. That's what I mean. That's why it was. That's so why there ended up being three years, like three first years. That three happened. first years. That's what happened, and that's why it got so confusing. Yeah, there, uh, okay. there were so many hands going up. I know. Like yeah. fifteen at a time. Yeah. That's going to happen. And again. Okay, so do we but prepare for Some that? of those people were putting their hands up to get into stack, and stack wasn't open. Yeah. People well, sh should be reminded of like. Signal? Open and close stack. Amen. Amen. Okay. To be prepared for that, I mean, can't you say the facilitation team can take it upon yeah. itself that if there are too many hands going up, then stack can take time. Stack can. But that's what, that's what like went wrong is like two people running around the room. Right. To get so all if hands. so, if there's a facilitation team with two stacks, one temp, or two temps, two stacks, then that's four people. That when those hands go up, then they recognize, okay, we need to. But the point is, do this. the point that I was making is that when all those, and which is what Isaac was saying again, once all those hands go up, and then four people, and then four people start running around, I want, I like, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. My eyes want to go in four different places. Isn't right that now. moderator's position to say, okay, right. let's let's address the situation right now and go. Let's take, a, let's take a stack. large stack or whatever stack. it is. I've got Jeremy's hand. Are you finished now? I, I think that one of the problems that has encouraged people not to discipline themselves in the stack, because that's what we need. The stack is like sort of a overarching concept that people need to wait their turn. And one of the things that might help that is to go back to the maximum five stack. Yeah, absolutely. And then, yeah, make it an explicit act of the body to extend stack beyond that. Mm -hmm. But also, that would help people like sort of regulate themselves and not feel like, oh well now I'm gonna talk again. Oh now I'm gonna talk again, you know, and like yeah. Also what would you like to do as far as facilitation is what are you most comfortable doing? Uh, for the eighth? Yeah. Yeah I'm open to do anything. Okay. Uh, and Greg and Sarah I'd like to you as well. What would you like to do? Um do we have a time? Yeah. I can do that. Okay. And sir? Probably more than likely temp check. Temp check? Yeah, probably more than likely. Mm -hmm. Can I ask something? Mm -hmm. Is there any kind of training for people to facilitate in the future? Uh, there we're going to be putting this we, together. Yeah, yeah, there yeah I hope that we're here to establish I think um, yeah. not just facilitation team for Sunday, but a facilitation work group that is interested in figuring out the training process for new folks and bringing lots of people in to keep the facilitation team fresh. So this is what it looks like right now, just to let everybody know. Uh, Josh and Isaac have their hands up. Okay. 
Josh. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I was mostly trying to play off the first year topic because it sounds like we have <clears throat> sort of a discrepancy as to what people believe first year is supposed to function as. Um, ideally, first year is really only previewing um, po or, uh, points of process and then informal proposals. That's essentially what they're there, there to vet. So when hands are going up, it's not the first year's job to run over and be like, let me screen everything everyone has to say. That's not the point, right? They see a point of process, that's what they're supposed to screen. And then when someone comes up to offer an informal proposal, that's what they're supposed to screen. Now we can, I think it might be valuable for us to put in some sort of a different process for informal proposals other than vetting it through the first year. But as we were using it before, that was the intent. Um, and again, you know, with, with stack, I think one of the things that we have failed to do, those of us who have facilitated um, before, cohesively anyway, is to make very, very clear when stack is opening and when stack is closing. If we can make very, very clear that we're taking five people in stack, stack is now open, there are only four hands up, we're about to close stack, that means that only the four hands that are up are going to be in stack. Okay, stack is closed. Because then when someone comes up while they're in stack to make a point, you see 15 hands go up. Mm -hmm. and stack isn't a place to have other people <coughs> insert their opinions, it's where people can ask a point of clarification, and then if we, if we would like to do it this way, perhaps at a point of information, but I think we've all noticed points of information being abused as point of opinion. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So... That's I'm moderator's job to say, I'm sorry. That was exactly, that is moderator's job. Well, it, it could be moderator's job. I think we're all here to figure out exactly what we want each of these functions to perform It's each other's as. job um, to check each other. With. I, I think so as well. I just, a question on first year, I mean, if if it's important enough to have this person do it and not pre, you know, like, I don't know, should we add an extra facilitator for first year, or is that too much? Because, um, I mean, I'm just, I'm thinking about, like, the moment where you had, like, all those hands go up and you've got this one person who's also you know, temp or stack or whatever they are, and they can't focus on everyone else, should we add a first year? So That's my I, question. I, I think here's the question we need to ask ourselves as a body then, right? Um, number one, do we have enough people to where we can kind of try to rotate facilitators every meeting and still have a cohesive and well-trained facilitation team while adding an additional position to that? The next que uh, to the facilitation team and then add another person? Or the next question might be, does temp check have enough to do during the meeting to where they can't maintain themselves as vetting every informal proposal and every point of process? Um, I'm of the opinion that if we can take whatever process we decide would be most efficient and actually get it into a pamphlet form and then get that pamphlet out to everyone so they have a reference, I think that we'll see less confusion when people try to engage with that process because that's not something we've done yet. Um, so I, I, I personally think that temp check in first year could be the same, but that's just my personal opinion because having facilitated multiple, multiple, multiple meetings, um, temp check is usually just kind of chilling back. Now perhaps time check could also duel as a first year if that becomes necessary for like reinforcement, right? Um, but I don't think that we need to add an additional body to the front simply because, and I'm not opposed to it either. I think it's good. No, that's a good idea. But, but um, you know, I, I think that at least for right now, we need to focus on who we have, you know, maintain who we have who's interested as incredibly competent, and then perhaps move forward by adding positions. Because we don't even have the five positions that we have, like, down. Um. We sort of do. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that they're assigned. I'm saying yeah, as a yeah. collective. I, I bet you if yeah, we were what, each asked to give a definition of what the moderator does, I bet you if we were each asked to give a definition of what stack does, we would all have different definitions. That's what I think. Um, is, this a, is a brochure about you know, here's how GA works, here's, here's our process and all that stuff. Is that happening Sunday? No. I don't. Because I'm, I, here's why. And I've been working on a packet about, um, with, and it doesn't have to be used by any means, but parts of it sh can and can be used probably by Sunday if we could get this typed up, but it's 
what consensus is because people don't understand what consensus is, and it's not always, um, you know, it's not it's not always about agreement. Um, mm -hmm. So I have an entire thing, you know, it's basically just cut and pasted off the consensus Wikipedia, which is actually quite helpful, and a bunch of other things. So it's it's pretty simplistic, and and I think that would be really lovely to get in a brochure about consensus as well passed out. I don't really see any reason why we can't do this by Sunday, though. I am down to take four or five hours between now and Sunday and sit down with anyone who wants to and I'll get something that awesome. typed up. My only okay. issue with that is that um, this is something that we're experimenting with. This isn't right. concrete yet. Mm -hmm. right, but so. All anyone ever wants is to be to see it. A reference. Like, I've, literally, a reference. I've literally heard it from before I mean, we were at Kanawa. Like, can I see something? Yeah. That says what we're doing. Mm -hmm. This is helpful. Okay. Isaac, then go, please. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take stack. Yeah, I, I yeah, think that um, we're here tonight also to establish a facilitation work group that's committed to creating things like that. And then if yes, the process is evolving and the structure of GA is evolving, but we can print it out specifically for that night. It's like this is what's happening tonight, um, and then we can figure out what works and we can. Keep printing it out, and <laughs> maybe eventually we'll get to something we're pretty set on and, and happy with. Um, yeah, I but I like to see. Um, we are getting into that territory. We're, we were talking about facilitation, and right now we're, we're just starting talking about like process and the GA structure. And if you look, I don't know. I I just wanted to say that since. Well, I guess Ron asks us to think about who wants to facilitate on Sunday. I want to think. I want to ask people to think about who wants to be in the facilitation work group, not necessarily facilitate on Sunday, but get the training and facilitate in the future. You know, um, and I I was looking at the notes. I I just want to say if we can have an organized discussion maybe tonight. I thought like we could uh, speak specifically about facilitation team issues, um, the GA schedule, or but maybe that's separate, maybe that's a proposal or something, and GA structure and then process, um, or maybe we just want to keep it going the way it's going because it's, it's fine. Um, Where? I mean, it's not that, I think um, but like, you had your hand up first. Hey. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, if we can't do pamphlets, and I feel like, I don't know how much pamphlets would cost for a whole bunch of people, but, okay, but if we, if we can't do that, then a couple whiteboards should do, um, and they can just be up in front of everyone, you can just point, come on now, come on guys. Um, yeah, like, I guess my, sorry, um, my point was that, um, maybe, Laying out some of these things for pamphlets is is everyone inter is everyone here interested in hashing out those details because it's going to be complex. It's very it's going to be a lot of it's a lot of work. We're going to need a couple hours. I don't know how long. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to scare you, but um, we could begin doing that definitely. Um, like I, I I was thinking about structure and I took the I looked at Josh's GA procedure notes. Because I don't know any other document that exists like this, but we're looking to create it. I tried to define um, the process for informal and formal proposals as I understand them, and suggest so like in paragraph format, so we can lay it out in that mm -hmm. pamphlet. Um, but yeah, if, I mean, well, you know. I've got Bentley and Jeremy with hands up. Let's see, so and then Claire, we'll Josh. Okay, cool. Uh, Dylan, can I get a paper behind you? No, it's okay. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, we've been talking about creating a pamphlet or a booklet for two months, uh, so it is very necessary, uh, but what we haven't defined is what our process is, so that's the problem. Um, and that's maybe something we can do as a facilitation group to define the process for this GA and have that pamphlet be for just this GA and just have it like a trial and error, you know, it's nothing concrete and also... You know, we've we've talked about having GAs for just soapbox. I mean, there's there's many ways of going about GA and having these gatherings. And I think that 
as long as a team wants to get together and if it's if it's a solid team of people you know of course it's going to be like a dedicated group of people who are going to be in communication every single day pretty much because that's a lot of work i mean think about think about all the issues that come up pretty much every day that's a lot of work so if, if there is going to be one team dedicated to this i think that's great but i also think that it shouldn't exclude people who just want to help um, and be involved, like for instance, if I want to work in my work groups and if I also want to educate myself on facilitation, I'd like to be able to step in every now and then. Um, so I don't think it should be exclusive. I think that we should have at least some sort of smaller team but a larger like group that's available. Uh, I do think that rotation is important because you don't want the same faces up all the time. And there was one more point. I didn't write it down, so I forgot, so go ahead. <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, we have this problem with the Richmond IWW about how the document process. We adopted Rusty's Rules of Order, and uh, there's a pamphlet that exists already. I'm not saying that we should use that pamphlet, but we certainly have a template in that. What's I mean, it called? I, it's called Rusty's Rules of Order. And it's Rusty's? Rusty's. Is that canal on the Yeah. in that? And we printed out pamphlets for everybody, and that helped a lot. It helped. I don't think people actually read them necessarily, but it certainly got rid of that complaint. <laughs> it does make it more legitimate. That's all. Um, am I next? Yes. yes. Okay. I because I opened this can and of worms. Josh. Okay, that's fine. I opened this can of worms. I just want to let everyone know I was going to do this without the facilitations team's grace or um, approval or not. So I don't. We can talk about it, but. It doesn't really matter because I was going to do it anyways. And what it was going to include, just to let you guys know that it's probably going to exist, was the process that the process document that we already have in place on how GA runs. Because this one, quite no. This is is this this is this wait maybe it is no the one the the another one. It's very similar. Yeah, this is the facilitation. Guide. That was that was the very very the first, first one. draft yeah, that was first. done at the very beginning. Yeah, we have another one. We have a little. It's a little bit more. So I was going to use that, and I was going to use what is consensus about a page, on what consensus means, and what it what it is, what it does, different ways you can do it, and then I was also going to include Rusty's rules of order. So, thank you, Jeremy. Those those are the three things that it was going to exist that were going to be part of this packet and are still going to be part of this packet. So if anybody wants to, to, to talk to me about what they want to see in it, that's fine. It's going to exist anyway. So. Um, could you just put a date for it so that um, if we do change it, we can say, okay, this is the old one, this is the new one? Sure, that's, that's fine. I was going to make them for Sunday mm -hmm. and just have them be available. Oh, yeah. And I'm also making some general assembly packets for those that don't know how to deal with Virginia General Assembly, not our General Assembly, as well for Sunday. Mm -hmm. Handouts, handouts, handouts are my favorite thing in the world. So I'm just doing that. And it doesn't really, I mean, I understand we can't all remember exactly how it works. I learn really well if I see something in front of me and I can read it. So that's how I've learned how to facilitate. It's not from facilitation training, it's from reading New York Minutes. That's how I learned, that's how I learned how, you know? So, because there hasn't really been any facilitation training. So, so we, oh, so we can go back to the regular agenda because I just want to let you know I opened that can of worms and it's going to exist regardless. So, like, if you want to go back to the agenda, that's that's perfectly fine. Or we can talk about it. Um, just so I'm clear, um, are hand signals part of what you're including? Yes. Okay. Um, and then after we have GA with her pamphlets, um, then it'll be decided on whether those were yay, nay, what needs to be changed um, for next GA. Mm -hmm. Back it up. Cool. Will it have the, uh, the schedule of the okay. GA in it? <coughs> here's, here's what I'm thinking. I can separate the three, so it's Rusty's Rule of Order, separate, consensus, separate, and then the, the one page General Assembly document separate so I can be easily changed every time. I'll, I'll print like 50 of those instead of a lot, you know, instead of a ton, and then that can easily be changed. And we can just make an announcement saying this could easily be changed. Please know that we'll put it on the we'll put it on the thing. Done. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah
Um, so maybe because I think you know, based on what Isaac had um, gone over with the agenda, we wanted to talk structure, we wanted to talk about pro uh, process, we wanted to talk about the subtleties of GA. Would it make sense that we just like kind of sit around and put together the pamphlet as a group right now? Because the pamphlet would include the process and the structure and all those things we're about to talk about. I can just take notes um, on what we talked about, and then and it's just sort of take the the page document that we have written out about the process and maybe go step by step and say, well, this is what the the process currently is for submitting informal proposals. What do we think about it? What's good? What's bad? How can we change it? And then just go through each step of the process, which would include structure and process and figure out what's good, what's bad, refine it as we go, and then take those revisions and put them into the pamphlet. I mean, we can do multiple things at once here. Um, and maybe that would, you know, supplement Isaac's well-put-together, well-thought-out schedule or agenda for the night. Well, I'll address what you just said and then what Claire said. Um, I don't see it being a bad idea, but I think with the time that we have now, maybe we should focus on what we want GA to look like on Sunday. Uh, also, with the pamphlets just coming out on Sunday, not a lot of people, and I'm just not trying to judge, but I don't think it's going to be got, like, right then and there. Um, so maybe it's great to have the pamphlets, but we shouldn't structure GA around that consensus model for that day, maybe. Or if we do, then we need to present it in a really, really, like... Big way. Yeah, I, I don't know. In order for it to work well, I think we should, if we were to work with that model that day, then we would have to present it um, in a really strong, like, like here's how this is going to go. Instead of, here, here's this piece of paper, look over it whenever you have time, and then leave, and then get it, and then come back. Um, Oh, God, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I don't know. I, I, I personally, just for me, I would rather spend my time on the agenda and the pamphlets can be worked out through communication after this meeting. It's it's totally fine. Yeah. It is a great idea. It, I think it's amazing. I mean, and I'm glad. I'm glad that's going to happen. <laughs> I, I won't be a part of it, but I'm so glad it's going to happen. No, but that, that's fine. We'll, we'll me and Josh and whoever else wants to work on it. We just it's fine. So I was just going to say. I mean, yeah. what, what do we have? Like two hours? No, or we have one hour. hour. Okay, so an hour. An hour is left, and I maybe would say that I would like to know what GA is sort of kind of going to look like on Sunday and the facilitation team that's going to be there can can kind of get together afterwards to do a little more threshing before then. I, I took these basic notes pretty much um, combining everything that was talked about last time to what I think would be a decent uh, schedule and we can work that out. Um, one, introduction, welcome, basically tell everybody that we're here, kind of what we've been up, up to. There's going to be a lot of new faces, I imagine, catch people up on that. Um, following that, uh, work group announcements, which is kind of, they kind of go together. Um, after that, uh, there's almost everybody said they wanted more soapbox. So, so assign a specific soapbox um, at the beginning, um, uh, probably um, half hour time limit on that. Uh, and then... Time limit for each person? Three minute time limit for each person. Um, informal proposals after that, formal proposals, uh, and then I think a, um, a break might be in order, um, and then follow that with uh, points of inspiration, um, and then get to the agenda points, and then closing. Um, question. If we're going to do formal proposals, wouldn't that mean that there's already been an informal proposal at hand, and has that happened, or would we need that for this GA? Okay. <laughs> but I'm listening. So. so there is a form of proposal. <laughs> lots, right? There's there's yeah. lots, but most importantly, I, I say with you know I, I only say because it's been on the table for three weeks now, is to come up with a strategy. Uh, my understanding was that this entire 
the entire GA would basically be focused on building strategy. And I, I, I think, you know, I think some soapbox and I think some other things are useful. But if I'm if I'm wrong about that, then I'm happy to be corrected. But my understanding is that we would be dedicated. Like I've come up with an agenda for how to go about strategizing, and it's three and a half hours long. So, um, and I was going to present it to you guys for your input on that. But my my guess is that if if we're going to try and do this, it's going to take a long time. I'm trying to try to do what? Sorry. Actually, come up with a. a a strategy through a consensus model. Chris, Josh. Right. Um, and to be clear, I'm, I think I think there's something that can make that work, and we're, we'll try and not do everything, you know, everybody talking to each other all the time. But again, if we're going to try and do this through a consensus model, it could take a long time. Um. <clears throat> I was just gonna say I think having uh, a soapbox, a decent on of a soapbox, is gonna be important and actually encouraged because we've been um, out of GA for about two weeks or so, so a good catch up period just kind of see where everybody is. I think um, should actually be encouraged, and I will also assume that I think this will be a long GA. Um, I'm I'm hoping not five or six hours long, but I I think everyone's kind of on the same page that this this is probably going to be three hours or so, um, at least. I, that's what I'm kind of guessing at, um, just because we do have a, a a lot of catching up to do, and we're taking on a big project um, in this year, at least starting a big project. So. But, um, so yeah, Graham, I was kind of on the same page as you, you know, we want to have a, a GA all about strategy, but um, uh, I know I've said this before, but I don't know how we can have a strategy if we don't have goals, because the strategy is, is your, your map or your path to get to the goals, and without any unified and agreed upon idea as to what brings us all together, then we don't have any goals, and without any goals, I don't think that we can have a really effective strategy. So, along that line, so how can we strategize, right, while creating these goals at the same time? I think, you know, if, if we sort of utilize, and I haven't heard your, your agenda yet, so I can't totally speak to it, but, you know, um, while continuing to get proposals on the table as to how we can, do, like, develop our short-term um, our short-term agenda, like, so, like, with the Virginia GA, like, that's something we need to focus on. It just is. Mm -hmm. You know, most people seem to agree on that. And a couple other things, you know, Martin Luther King Day, the, the VPA, all these things that are coming up very, very soon, those would probably have some proposals on the table about them. But then, the sooner we can get our, like, our, our unified message together, what are our unified goals, what are our unified grievances, what are our unified demands, then we can more quickly approach the strategy. Because if we're making strategy on something that we don't all agree upon, we're going to be wandering through a forest with a map but no endpoint. You know? Um, yeah, I think you're next, Jeremy. Okay. No, um, I, I wasn't. And then, and then you and then you. Sorry. Um, I, I have a little bit of trouble with reworking entirely the entire GA because we already have an existing document that people haven't been able to get their hands on that actually works. And if people knew what it was, then it could work, which again is why I wanted to do the brochure because um, people just don't even know that it exists and that they can they can see it. Mm -hmm. And if people knew exactly what they what, what the process was, then the process would already work. There might be some kinks here and there that we can work out, but I don't think we need to rework an entire GA format for Sunday at all. Like, that's just a personal opinion, but I think we already have one in place. Um, I, I agree we don't have goals. I, I'm actually a little bit uncomfortable with specific goals because I really like the fluidity of this movement, but I do think that we have come up with several focus points. So I'm not sure, maybe we can change the word goals to focus points and strategize on those focus points like Virginia General Assembly and other things like that. Um, but we also have a meeting, uh, Will is calling, me and Will are both point people for Virginia General Assembly and we're calling for a meeting on Monday about strategizing for Virginia General Assembly. So that might help kind of cut out some of the time on Sunday. Um, 
because then people, if people are really interested in Virginia General Assembly, they can, if they can come to this and possibly, because we've been doing a lot of work this week and no one's really wanted to do anything this week with us except for me and Will about Virginia General Assembly, because it's a lot of work. It's going to be a lot. I'm your third. Can I go second? Okay, um, I, for one, really agree with Chris. Like, really agree that I think we should put, um, uh, at least for this GA, maybe not making a um, thing for every time, but a, a lot of people have a lot of things that they've done over the time. They have ideas that have been bubbling, they have feelings that have been bubbling. I think um, if we put in the soapbox at the beginning, it will ease, um, both ease tension, and we can get a, a we can do a temp check among everyone. Um, I don't know that I'm comfortable with changing the GA process. Um, even for that necessarily, but I feel that we have a process in mind already. Um, I, in Kanawa, I remember proposing that we have a process for emergency changes, and I think we should try to initiate that and just say at the very start, hey, um, just an emergency proposal of that we have a soapbox at the very beginning before we go into the next parts. For this GA specifically. I, I, I think that's totally fitting in with how GA has evolved. Mm -hmm. Although the facilitate, did I just cut yep. somebody off? Yeah, you cut three. <laughs> sorry. One, two, Process. three, and then you're four. Uh, I'm sorry. doing it by number, I okay? I hands. All right, yeah. Sorry. Jeremy, one, Graham, two, Summer, three, Isaac, four. Good. Why Graham's not going after me? I, uh, if we're going to have a three and a half hour GA, um, I don't in principle have a problem with that, but it means that facilitation needs to stick to that agenda. It needs, the problem is not long GAs, and you know, you guys know I've had problems with long GAs. It's not the length of time per se. Mm -hmm. It's the way in which disorganization uh, disrespects everybody's time. Mm -hmm. And that people go out of process and end up wasting people's time. Nobody has a problem doing productive work. Mm -hmm. It's when they sit there and people are just shooting the shit and not making progress. So, three and a half hour GA, if it ends up with us having at least you know progress towards the strategy, great. I'm all about it. But let's make sure that facilitation utilizes all of that time and make sure that we stick to that agenda so that it just doesn't become a clusterfuck. <laughs> Circle jerk cluster box. I have a So, <laughs> 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 safer spaces. Um. <laughs>